Hey guys, today for the review, I have the Zotec ZTQS7. I received this multimeter from Zotec Instruments Company to make a review. It's the Zotec ZTQS7 ACDC clamp meter. Let's start with the unboxing. It comes with a case. There is a manual. A strap is included for attaching to the meter, making it easier to hold when you're on the go. Inside the case, there is the meter, probes, and thermocouple. A thermocouple is used for temperature measurement, which I will test later. Connect the strap to the bottom of the meter. Remove the plastic film from the display. Insert two AAA batteries to power the meter. The batteries are not included. Use a Phillips screwdriver to open the back cover. There is a clamp to measure the current of engines, motors, or other equipment. There is no designated on-off button like you may have seen with other multimeters. To turn on the meter, turn the dial to the desired setting. The first setting measures AC-DC voltage or frequency. Press the select button to toggle between these settings. The next setting measures resistance, continuity, diode, or capacitance. The next three settings can measure AC-DC current, each supporting a different maximum current of 6 amps, 60 amps, or 100 amps. The last setting measures temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit or NCV or non-contact voltage detection. The meter comes with red and black probe leads. Attach the black probe to the COM port. Attach the red probe to the voltage resistance continuity probe. The probe leads come with a protective cap. Remove the protective cap from the probe leads. On the right side of the meter is a blue button. If you press and hold this button, the backlight turns on. This is useful when working in low light conditions. The first test is to check the voltage of this AA battery. Turn the dial to the voltage setting. Since this battery is new, it should measure roughly 1.5 volts. The measurement is approximately 1.5 volts, which is a good sign. The next test is to check the resistance of this 3,300 ohms resistor. Turn the dial to the resistance setting. The reading shows around 3,300 ohms, which is what we expected. The next test is to check the continuity of this alligator clip. Press the select button to toggle from resistance to continuity mode. We hear a beep, so there is continuity. Next, we'll test the AC voltage of the power strip that's connected to a wall outlet. Turn the dial to the AC-DC voltage and toggle to the AC mode. When I turned on the power, the reading showed around 120 volts, which is expected. The next test is to check the capacitance of this one microfarad capacitor. Turn the dial to the resistance capacitance setting and toggle to the capacitance mode.
The reading shows one microfarad, which is what we expected. The next test involves measuring the current. I have a portable air filter that connects to a wall outlet. As seen in the specs, it requires an input of 120 volts and 0.56 amps. Turn the dial to the amperage setting. Since the air filter only draws 0.56 amps, I'll select the 6 amp option. Press the trigger, then insert the power cable into the clamp. There shouldn't be any amps showing yet. When I turn on the air filter, the reading shows approximately 0.56 amps. When I increase the speed, the filter does increase slightly to 0.75 amps. The next test involves performing non-contact voltage detection. Turn the dial to the temperature NCV setting. Press the select button to toggle to the NCV mode. The sensor is at the tip of the meter. You will hear a beep sound if the sensor detects an AC electromagnetic field. There is no electromagnetic field because this is the neutral wire. You hear a beep since there is an electromagnetic field, and this is the live wire. The next test is to measure the temperature using the thermocouple. Insert the black plug into the COM port. Insert the red plug into the voltage resistance port. Turn the dial to the temperature setting. The reading currently shows the temperature in Celsius. When the fire is placed under the tip of the thermocouple, the temperature rises. This is a great clamp meter. This meter is loaded with features. For example, it can measure capacitance and temperature, capabilities that many meters lack. It has good accuracy. It's a great value. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing for more electronics tips and tutorials, and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.